Obachan Gaiteta. If you don't cook, you don't eat. If you don't eat, you die. Hi, Firestarter here, and welcome to my toy review of the cast of Rider Numero Uno, Kamen Rider Kabuto. And um, the box does have um, a couple of things like the Kabuto's photo over here, Kabuto's logo over here, Numero Uno, the series, the um, gimmick, which is the cast off, is profile photo again over here, over here, on the top. Um, he displays all of the accessories uh, at, and at the back a couple of things that you need to know about the figure like the number and what kind of accessories he has the kunai knife yada 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 press here to cast off and that's it so this is the cast off rider Kabuto in his shiny red form his head articulation does move from left to right and rotating hands and swivel over here and uh, open and close hinge for the hand swivel does go uh, up and down swivel on the knee rotating knee and a ball joint on the foot no hinge on the toes for this figure, it does have a good posture and um, it's it, it's really proportionate from the chest to the uh, arms. It doesn't have a flipping shoulder pads, but it does look nice. The paint apps on the belt or the sector does have good detail, although there are a couple of missed parts that should be painted if you could try to compare this with your other Kabuto figures. But that's just a minor um, nuisance for you. No articulation on the torso and no swivel on the hip or on the waist. Again, there are no missed parts or missed unpainted parts. There are a couple of a few, de a few additional details on the knee pads but uh, that's basically it when it comes to the figure. He has two kinds of kunai knives. The one in gun mode and one in um, blade mode or this is the kunai knife, this is the kunai knife in um, gun mode, it can uh, convert into an axe, so that's cool. It's not painted well, and uh, these parts are the crosshairs, so it, it can warp out over time. So as the kunai knife over here, uh, as you can see, the other part is actually warped already. Um, you can still bend that and uh, make your own corrections when it comes to the accessory so that's a minor disappointment but the detail and the color on both weapons does look nice are the cast this is for the what's this this is for the left side does have Kabuto's uh, logo over here this is the front part this is the back part and this is for the other side so to put those on um, just fold down the front part of Kabuto. The problem with this is that um, when you lift it up, although there's a hole over here and there's a peg over here, it doesn't lock in place. So it might come out loose from time to time. So um, I, I do try to remind you that this may be a, a huge disappointment, especially if you're um, playing with it. Now to put this on, just put this one down oops put this one down and place the front part and the back part the sides you'll know the right side if this is facing forward I mean the logo is facing forward the other side and that's it uh, this is the uh, gun mode and I'll show you also the axe version of it 
it is absolutely sturdy so you don't have to worry about not be able to pose this one very much it's actually stable to take these casts off just press the um zector over here and then i'll catch it again because it does uh, like i mentioned many times already that uh, the parts do fly because of the strong springs uh this is the separate sector kabuto sector um, i'm glad they painted the uh, horns underneath the uh, bottom part of the sector is flat and painted it black there are no additional or fantastic features on this sector um, there are no additional details it's just painted in, uh, in red and then this part is painted in black though this figure is really good in nature the problem the problem is the parts do come loose especially the horn over here over time um, it will fall off on its own and it's not really latched that well I don't know um, it's just I don't know if it's just my figure or all of the Kaboto cast off rider figures does come out loose over time so the hell with it but this is a great gift for for kids especially if um, you want to influence them on common riders i mean most of the cast of riders are good figures to give away and it won't hurt your wallet in case they broke over time or lose their articulation if you want to know the possibilities for this figure do check out the video the photos at the end of the video and do check out my link on the description description page for um, the link to my written review and thank you very much this is the end of my Kamen Rider month and I uh, hope you like all of my reviews that I did for not really all or most of them uh, if you like most of my reviews um, do check out some of the uh, videos I did for the past month on Kamen Rider month I would like to thank all the new subscribers I'm almost at my 50 uh, once I reached 50 50 sub subscribers I'm, I'm doing a short giveaway it wouldn't I, I promise it wouldn't be crap uh, it, it won't um, disappoint you what I'm giving away because those are really cool toys so uh, this is Firestarter thank you very much and until my next review